Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're down here in Goalie Utopia, surrounded by all the latest and greatest in gear, including, once again, time to show off new stuff. It's that time of year. My, it's like Christmas in May. Yeah. CCM Axis 2. Lots of exciting new features on this line cam. I say we start with the pad, start with the knee, start with the changes, turn that thing around. Oh. Let's look at that. You're just lucky I slapped you in the knee pad. Let's have a look. Okay. So that's one of the biggest features and we call it out right here. So CCM's version of an integrated knee in terms of first stability and overall playability. I mean, we've seen Bauer, we've talked about Bauer. You know, we know how much of an upgrade that has been. Now, CCM has created their own version of it, unique to their pad, um, to create that stability. So Kevin's gonna about to Velcro right now. We can get a bit of a closer look at what that actually looks like. You can just see how it's based on integrating that inside edge with the face of that the That outer knee plate into the actual core of the pad itself. And what you'll notice is there is a little bit of flex here. Now, when you put it all back together, it becomes a little less, but the idea is you want some mobility, some flex. I guess if we're making a Bauer equivalent, we'd be calling it the um, Stabila Stabila flex. flex as opposed to the Stabila slide. So there is a little bit of there. And of course, why do we have this? CCM led that research, right? Like that the knee drive is what gets the pad to the ice the fastest. And if your knee drive actually, all it does is drive the knee flap down or the knee landing gear, um, down before driving the pad down. We've actually got photos of it with NHL goalies from years past where you can actually see their knees hit the ice and the pad's still off the ice. In this case, it's gonna get down to the ice faster. As a matter of fact, if you do it upright, you can actually get the pad to the ice before your knee hits. So Correct. Uh, all stuff we've covered in the past and something that this new Axis 2 pad really focuses on optimizing. Correct. So again, we're looking at that solid seal when it hits the ice. And I've had these support. on the ice when they hit it. It reminds me sort of the first time in Bauer, it's like that. It really slams down and you can really feel that seal. Exactly. Exactly. So when we look at the overall structure of the pad and everything else, we still see a lot of similarities back to the original Axis 1, which is good because the overall premise of the pad, the core of the pad, they were all on point with it. It was just now upgrading this knee was kind of the biggest feature. So when we move to the back, we do see an update in their quick motion strapping. In terms of how it wraps around, we do have a bit more wrap to it all the way around the calf itself. Um, we lose a little bit of the adjustability that they did have before. So it does create a little bit of a tighter fit. Um, that said, in terms of for rotation uh, and feel wise so far, because it's a little bit of a more of an open style leg channel, and still get all that rotation, that freedom of moment, uh, movement that you were looking for kind of out of that pad, for sure. Uh, knee strap, you, you saw it when I had the knee opened up. It's actually anchored at two points. DRS Pro is their new system. There's adjustability here if you want to make it longer. Um, it's got a little, it's, you know, the double elastic that CCM started years ago. Nice, like, it's not quite a completely fixed end point um, because there is a little flex to it, um, but sturdy enough that you're not sliding off of this knee block, even if you're an oversized knee, especially if you've got this connect. I mean, this connects you to the pad to the point where that's unlikely anyways. But I like the fact, I like the way they've got the adjustability on two sides down here. And I like the sturdiness of this uh, one step short of, I said, of a straight nylon, a little flex, but not too much. Correct. So overall flex point of the pad itself, once again, something that is customizable depending on your own liking, but it is a stiff pad. That's what it's designed to soft be. Soft boot. It's got a soft, flexible boot. Don't forget boot. the soft, flexible boot at all times. And as much as you would say, and I apologize for jumping in on you here, but we've had them on the ice for a while, so we got a little bit of feedback on these already. As much as you say this is a continuation of Axis 1, I would actually say in terms of stiffness up through the thigh rise, it is significantly stiffer. Um, Axis 1... Looked the same, flat face, same flex down on the bottom, but it was, it was a pad that got pretty soft and flexible at the top pretty quick. This one is a lot more rigid, a lot more. You see the pre-curve on it, but it's a lot stiffer within that pre-curve shape. Correct. So we kind of covered most of it. A um, couple other key features. Speed skin obviously makes its return all the way throughout the pad. Again, customizable in terms of what material you would like to use overall. You see Kevin opening up the actual calf plate itself, just to get a better view. Just uh, a little bit of a calf wedge and a little more support on the calf, not too thick to the point where it disrupts your ability to get that skate to the ice, um, but just a little bit of extra support when you're down in the butterfly, a little bit of extra cushion. Again, Correct. continue to help with that, you know, making sure that pad stays flush. I love that sound. We need to have like a little sound bite of that. Just, yes. 
It's like goalie music to the ears right there. That and like the sound of the post. And I kid you not, like when the first time I had it on the ice, I actually had shooters who were like, holy, like what's that? Like what's that noise? Snap. They're not used to me being able to actually get to the ice with any authority. So I fake it now because I got this. All right. So moving away from the pads. Since Kevin's Do we got have them. to? Because I really kind of like these pads. I know they're awesome. I know they're sweet, but we got to talk about everything else. Well, I think we do need to talk about one other feature on the pads. Go for we it. Don't, we can't actually show off here. You're going to have to check out the CCM Customizer, which launches on Tuesday, May 17th. There is an asymmetrical graphic mm -hmm. available. We've got ours coming as well as our demo set where you can actually have the graphics sort of, rather than being that sort of mirrored symmetrical design where you can actually have the pattern come sweeping across the face of the two pads and matching gloves as well. So that's something to keep an eye out for on their customizer. Okay, now I'm ready to move on. Well, now I'm not because you opened up another can of words with regards to graphics. So yes, you do have many graphics options that way, but also you will see total custom graphics coming very, very soon. Um, along with the launch of uh, the Axis pads themselves, they will be launching their custom graphic program, which we will see and send out more details. It will be its own separate video when it's ready to rock and roll, so we'll check that out. But uh, something to stay tuned for and get excited for. Just yeah, you mentioned graphics, we had to we had to cover. Yeah, we've well. seen. I mean, we've seen some beauties like David Riddick at the uh, outdoor game with the the guitars on them. Mm -hmm. um, we saw Pekka Rene on his retirement night get a tribute. Demco. Set. Uh, Demco with the with obviously the uh, Kirk McLean tribute and even his own um, graphic there yeah, for just time. a custom graphic for a little while on there. So yeah, that will be available to the public for the first time. The All Out Pro custom graphics. Um, now, are we ready to move yes. on? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's start with the block first. Okay, CCM's lightest weight blocker to date. First time in a long time where they've been able to sort of go back to the drawing board on the blocker and glove and redo things sort of from the start. As much as there's a lot of familiarity and Correct. feel in this, they kind of went back to the starting board in terms of how it's constructed. I think that's really a key point too. It's like you are still gonna get that level of familiarity if you were a big fan of CCM blockers. But again, the biggest thing that I noticed by putting this on right away was weight and freedom at the cuff. Um, as you can see, a lot more material has been cut out. Again, that contact point really becomes right at the wrist itself. It really allows you to present that blocker forward and get good supreme mobility out of the blocker itself. Yeah, it, it's got nice mobility. You can open it up, or if you want it a little tighter, you can close it down. There's a couple of different ways you can set this up. Uh, pillow's been moved inside, uh, alongside the thumb, as opposed to being attached to the outer board. Um, again, the palm, less material in the palm is a trend we've seen now for, I guess, a couple generations out of CCM. More like a player glove. The idea being less material just gives you better feel, and we've certainly noticed it. Got the pre-curved finger protection. Um, so a lot of features that you are used to on a CCM blocker, just a little bit more mobility. And as you mentioned right away, you noticed the lightweight. Gotcha. Glove time, because this one's got some big changes. All right. We have the CCM new, Give it to me. Give it to me. new 591 brake glove so what's different why is it called the 591 so first of all opening up the backhand of the glove I, was having so much fun. I know you were so the trend no wrist strap you've seen this on a couple of gloves already that we've kind of talked about earlier on in the series and whatnot now open style of a wrist more of that strap right along the backhand of itself to really hold your hand deep inside the glove. Got adjustment points down here. Correct. As well as the, the strap that comes across there. Now, this is an important feature because it also combos hand in hand. There are no finger stalls to this glove. Look, man, no finger stalls. Completely open. Kind of hard to look at, but we do, we do have some photos that we can show you of it. Yes, yes. So what will happen here as you play into the glove and sweat into it, the way their foam works, especially where the fingers are, your hands and fingers are going to imprint actually into the glove itself. So it's not going to create a full finger stall, but you're going to get that glove you're basically you know, gonna, imprinted feel. Yeah, and, and I find this really interesting. And this is going to be, it'll be an interesting talking point for people. Well, this is new. This is different. You know, we love innovation at Ingle, and this is a big step for them. Um, so the idea of no finger stalls, what's interesting to me is rather than having your pinky sort of pulled out to the point where it doesn't have any leverage or power, your hand sort of goes automatically where you think you're going to be able to close that glove the easiest. And after one skate, those from the heat moldable foam on the back. Thermo activated foam. There we go. Thermo activated foam. 
um, within one skate, you see those grooves form. Mm -hmm. um, glove took a, our glove. This isn't our glove. This is his. It looks the same. We have the same one. Um, to be honest, took a little more break in process for us. But once it got broken in on the ice, like you talk about that wrist and the way it's strapped up. There's also a back pad here. So you can really, you know, especially those first skates, really tighten this up to get those, create those finger grooves and create that feel. Um, just the mobility on it, the ability to sort of turn it and hold it in a lot of different ways is you, you look at that wrist strap and you actually maybe worry it might be encumbered and it's totally unencumbered. The, the freedom of movement in this thing is remarkable. Um, little bit of it, there is a thumb loop with a Velcro and elastic adjustable strap if you wanna crank that a little tighter. Uh, you can see the back hand of the glove is totally different. It opens up all the way to the top so you can see inside those finger stalls. Um, the one thing that I think is noticeably improved is in the palm. And like in terms of that closure and the way this thing closes, again, maybe a little more break in process than we've had in the past to sort of get it snappy. But once we got it there, like, remember the old sort of two, you had like basically a channel that ran down the middle, like it was a middle sort of straight line with two sort of breaks on either side of it. That's gone. It's a single line on the break, extra padding around it. Like to me, this is the best break they've made. And once you get it broken in and closing, uh, it's a really nice feeling glove. Not everybody's gonna love no finger stalls, but I think you give it a chance and you, you mold it and you, and you break it in, um, you won't even notice it. That's been sort of yeah, the early feedback. Again, not everybody loves it, but man, like I love that closure. Uh, I love the way that palm sort of closes. You're way less exposed to stingers on this compared to previous models that has that sort of double straight line. Well, ladies you can and talk gentlemen, now. if Kevin can contain his consignment, I'm clearly Kevin, he's Cam. Thank you for listening to our In Goal podcast here. You can reach Kevin over at 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790 because clearly he works here. The amount of description that he's give on this glove is just fantastic. He's obviously excited about it and you should be too. This is what happens when you send us gear early to test and we get out in it and get feeling. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Stay tuned next week. We're going to check out the Axis 2 chest protector. My show, my show, my show! I don't know, I'm Kevin, he's Cam. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button! Oh, smash, subscribe, all those things. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs>